Hello everybody and welcome back to another apartment video with Kai. You guys seem to really enjoy these and I'm really enjoying making them. So this is another one of those videos where I will be, Louis, mommy is filming, we'd be silent. So this is another one of those videos where I will be showing you three different apartments that I did as virtual tours for a client. I filmed the units to send over to my clients for them to be able to make the best decision. So I love these videos because these are where I film three different units for a client who is touring virtually. I have a lot of clients who are moving to Chicago and are not actually in Chicago already. And so they wanna do virtual tours so they don't have to fly into the city. So I will send them options, go and film the units for them, and then they're able to make their decision on where they want to live. So today I'm really excited because we're doing a two bed video and I've never done a two bed video before. This client was trying to keep under $4,000 for their budget for a two bed, but as you will see, they did decide to stretch their budget for one of the options because they were so interested by it. But ideally, budget being under 4,000. And we were looking in all sorts of different areas in Chicago. So I felt like this is going to be a good one because it'll show you what some two bed options are going for in Chicago right now. This is being filmed end of April. And so these are accurate prices to what things are going for currently end of April. It is the most bonkers season ever right now for renting. Things are just really high priced and they are flying off the market so fast. So I think that this will be really helpful for some of you who are considering moving to Chicago or going to be starting your apartment hunt soon to kind of get a realistic idea of what things are actually going for in the city. All right, so we are gonna go in order of least expensive to most expensive, and this first unit is $3,330 a month. And it is also the largest unit we will be looking at, at 1,243 square feet. So this is a massive unit. Like anything that's over a thousand, I feel like is absolutely freaking huge. This unit does not have washer and dryer in it. So that's always something to keep in mind, but it does have that entry coat closet. This is kind of your entry hallway when you first get in. That's going to lead to one of the bedrooms. We'll go there in a second, but first we will head into the kitchen area. As you can see, it's updated fine, but it's not quartz countertops. It's more your cherry wood when it comes to cabinets. But if you can overlook that, holy cow, look at how big this living room area is. And it is a huge, not like bay window, cause it's bigger than that, but it's like a circular window. So it gives you full panoramic views, which is really nice. So the unit in the video that we're looking at is on the 10th floor. However, the actual unit that was available for that price point is on the 30th floor. So your view would be a little bit higher and a little bit better. Again, going back through that kitchen space, you do have a window in the kitchen, which is really nice. A lot of people really want that and it's kind of rare to find. This unit, I guess I should say, is in Streeterville. So if you're familiar with the map of Chicago, it's like just east of River North and just north of the Loop. This is gonna be your first bedroom. The bedrooms are huge. The floor plan itself is just gigantic. It does have an ensuite bathroom, which is really nice. Huge bedroom, you could easily fit a king size bed. You could do a desk in there if you wanted. You have a lot of room to play with. This is the view from that first bedroom. Closet space in there, and you have the closets lining the whole walls. What you give up for washer and dryer and unit, you gain in a ton of floor plan space. Look at this closet. This closet is basically like a den. Like I know we just brushed over that, but that closet is huge and you could use for so much storage. This is the second bedroom. The bathroom is not attached, but it is just outside of the hallway. So that's still really nice. It is a two bath, so you are not sharing bathrooms. We were filming this for roommates, so this was going to be a really good option for them so that way they didn't have to share any bathrooms. All right, this next unit we're gonna take a look at, this one is $3,784 a month, and it is 1,170 square feet. This one is the smallest unit, but they're all really large. They're all over 1,000 square feet, so plenty big but we'll give you an idea. This one does have washer and dryer, but as you can see, it is not a fully updated unit. And this one's the model, so it has furniture. It would not come with the furniture. The furniture is just there to kind of give a client an idea to be able to visualize what they could set up the space to look like. But this unit is fully carpeted. There's just like that little patch in the kitchen that's tiled and in the bathrooms. And it is just, is that thick plush white carpeting. But if you're balling on a budget, it's a decent option. This building is in Lakeshore East. You have this huge walk-in closet. We're looking at the first, the primary bedroom right now. Um, It is a two bed again. But this one is in Lakeshore East, so a lot of people really like that area. I kind of describe it as being like a gated community within Chicago. You're right next to the loop, just south of Streeterville and River North, but it does have much more of that like community feel. Not as much hustle and bustle. All right, so this is the first of your bedrooms, that closet, I'm still not over it. 
and then we will go back out and show you the kitchen and living room. As you can see in the kitchen, you do have white appliances. There is a window in this space as well. I think that's kind of meant to have a breakfast bar set up in there, but the island does have room for countertop stools as well. Plus you have this whole like dining area over here. <laughs> These units, I'm not used to big units. I always do like one beds or studios. And so I'm like, what would you do with all of this space? Here's your living room. Again, this one is also kind of on a curve, which is nice because you do get more of a corner. That's one of the nice things about two beds is typically when you're looking at two bed apartments, you get a lot more corners to be able to play with. And now we will walk over to that second bedroom. This is the bathroom. Again, this one is not an ensuite. Only one of the bedrooms has an ensuite, but they both have our full bathrooms, shower tub and all. So again, no sharing, which is great. And then this is the second bedroom. They have it set up with a couch. You could easily fit a queen size bed in here. It's not as big as that first room, but it is a little bit smaller. And then also huge walk-in closet. So this would be a really easy room to change over to being someone's full bedroom. All right, so those were the two options that fell comfortably within budget. Again, my client had a $4,000 budget. Each of the roommates wanted to spend about 2,000 each. Those would have been really, really great price points for them, but I did show them a third option be like, hey, if you're willing to stretch your budget just a little bit, I think that this one would be really good to look at. This unit is $4,128 a month. So they would roughly spend $60 more than what their initial budget was each. And it is 1,232 square feet. So right smack in the middle of the other units we've looked at. This is not the exact unit. The exact unit would not have the balcony, but other than that, it is exactly the same. Same square footage, finishes, layout and everything. So you come in, you have a huge open floor plan. Unlike the other ones, which were a little bit older buildings, this is a brand new build. So it is going to feel a lot more modern in its finishes and floor plan and everything. People love an open floor plan. This one faces into the courtyard, but what's cool about the courtyard is you have that city skyline all the way in the back, which is beautiful. And this is just like a really big open space to be able to work with. Plenty of space to set up desks, living room area, TV, the whole nine yards. Two bedroom. So this one would be like your primary, I suppose. They are carpeted, but this is like nice carpet. Like this is like modern carpet and it's gray and not white and it's not as thick and I don't mind it. This is a huge closet. Also a walkthrough closet. Let me just pause on there. I have lived with all different closet types. I've done a walk-in closet. I have done the slidey door closets and a walkthrough. I love a walkthrough closet. It is the best since you don't have any doors. You can see everything. You have access to all of the items. It uses up the best amount of floor space because you have a path going through it that's getting to somewhere. So I feel like there's less wasted space than there is in a walk-in closet where you have like corners and things. All right, and then going into the bathroom, this is your first bathroom. This one is the ensuite. You do have cabinets in there, which is really nice to be able to have like linens and towels and all sorts of things in there. And then a standing shower. I love all of the hardware in these units is the matte black and I just think it it is so, so pretty and modern. Love the kitchen island with the breakfast bar so you can just pull stools up to that. You wouldn't need a dining table. Again, all of the appliances are brand new because this is a brand new building as well as the washer and dryer. No one's even lived in this unit yet. So everything is completely, completely brand new. This is the second bathroom. This one is a shower tub combo. This one is not attached. So this one is not the ensuite, but it is still a really great size bedroom, huge walk-in closet. And again, this one shows a balcony. The actual unit wouldn't have a balcony, but this one does. But we're gonna show it to you anyway because it's pretty and you'll get a better idea of the view because that is still the city skyline view that my client would be able to get by looking through the courtyard area. So pretty. All right, guys, that was the three options that I sent over to this client. I wanna see what you guys think and what you would pick. I think that this one is a really good array of units because we go all the way from the best budget options that I have right now without washer and dryer and unit. And I got a lot of comments on one of my previous videos where I said budget, deal, and luxury. And everyone was like, this isn't even a budget apartment. Look, I show professionally managed buildings in Chicago and prices are stinking expensive. And I had people be like, I wanna see one beds for like 1,200. And I'm like, I, I don't have anything. I have nothing I could show you for that. So if you're looking right now and you're looking for a budget apartment, and it's insane. Don't get me wrong. I agree. It's insane, but that's where the market's at right now. So you have your budget option of 3,300 without washer and dryer in unit. You have your outdated option that does have washer and dryer in unit. And then you have your fully updated option that has washer and dryer as well. Oh, I also should point out, cause I didn't talk about this at all. The last option is in Bucktown. So it's not a super ideal location for someone who is taking public transit a lot because there's not trains really close. That one is a better option for people who are looking to drive and need to park a car somewhere because you're not walkable to a train station. So keep that in mind when you comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love making these videos and I feel like it gives people a really good idea of what the market is going for right now in Chicago. If you have any questions, as always, comment down below. Let me know what style apartments you guys are interested in and I'll try and pull some videos next time I do virtual tours for those as well. If you are looking for an apartment, I am a leasing agent with Compass, that's my brokerage, and I have a team, which is Team Maven, and we are all rental experts and willing to help you guys find your next apartment. So I do have a job form linked down in my description box. If you're looking, feel free to fill that in and I would love to be able to help you as well. And as always, hit that big red subscribe button. I post a video every three days and I'd love for you to follow along. Also, go check out my Instagram. I post so much apartment content over there. I'll just like grab quick videos when I'm out on tours with clients and we'll throw them up with the price. So if anybody's ever working with me and they're interested, they can always ask me what those buildings are and we can add those to the list. But follow me over there, fill out my job from link, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I